Last year, the defense did so well against BYU. This year's BYU offense looks a lot more productive. What do you see as the biggest difference in BYU last year compared to this year? Just uh, experience. Their quarterback was only a sophomore last year, so just having a whole other year under his belt and just fine-tuning the offense with the receivers, the timing with the receivers, the uh, O-line just coming back. So I think they're a good team just, just as they were last year. You still threw for 316 yards against you guys, but it seems like you stopped him at critical moments. Was there something about him that you were able to figure out, even though he was thrown for a lot of yards? I'm um, just bend and don't break. Uh, there's going to be plays that they might uh, have good on us. You know, there might be plays where they might catch a ball that he's a good quarterback, so he's going to throw them open, and et cetera. So just don't let them score. That's our uh, philosophy. Going to Provo, do you think that venue is any more difficult than any any other road place that you guys go to? It's going to be pretty cold, and they're going to have fans out there, but we're going out there and play football just like we do. Darren, um, are you aware of how um, big of a game BYU is to the San Diego State community? Yeah, I know the rivalry. Uh, we haven't played them in a, uh, quite a while besides last year, um, but we know it's, just, it's a big rivalry. We see the fans talk on Twitter all the time. Um, we're just going to go out there and play football. We can't make the game bigger than any other game. It's our, I mean, it's the last game of the regular season, but we'll go out there and just try to get a victory. Um, and then you had an interception return for a touchdown against Colorado. Um, you had a chance against Boise earlier in your career, <laughs> kind of slipped. You couldn't quite make it through. So what was it like getting that redemption? Oh, yeah, it was very redemptive, as you just said. Uh, just knowing that I had a touchdown just taken from me by myself, it just felt good to get it back and have the opportunity. And then what, what has it been the last three weeks? I mean, you know, a lot of – it seems like teams have uh, stayed away from you in some regards except the last three weeks and you've made them pay. Um, has that been a noticeable uptick in teams throwing towards you? Is it just or just right play, right time? Um, just being in the right position at the right play, you know, uh, just making the play that, making the plays that come to me. You can't just go out there and, and try to look for plays, but when the plays come to you, the plays that come your way, you have to make them, and that's what I've been doing these last couple of weeks. Terrific. And the last thing that I had was just um, wanted to ask about Jesse Matthews and, and going against him in practice. Um, what 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 is what does he bring to his game, and how is he able to um, seemingly make the impossible catches routine? He has very good hands and feet. Um, just seeing the way he's came up from being a walk on and earning a scholarship, I've seen his work and his his talent just progress seemingly every year. So uh, just ha seeing him out there and the, and the work he puts in, just translates to the Saturdays and the plays he makes out there. Hey, Darren, uh, yesterday the L.A. Bowl canceled. That was one of the bowl, main bowl tie-ins with the Mountain West. What, how much do you guys focus just on the game at hand, or how much do you look at trying to extend the bowl streak that San Diego State has and what those prospects are? Uh, we let those other things just handle themselves. If we can't control it, then there's no need to just focus on it. We're focusing on this game this week and trying to beat BYU. Do you pay attention, though, when you see things like that? Did you notice very much that the L.A. Bowl was canceled? And what were your thoughts when you saw that? Yeah, we see it all. Just knowing that there was a, a uh, what's it called, a lockdown in California, just kind of, we kind of thought that that would happen, and it actually did. So just focusing on just this week and whatever happens after that happens. Still to be determined if you guys do get to a bowl game or not. Uh, regardless, if you do, on December 19th, you could possibly schedule a game, I guess. Would you guys like to see as many games still scheduled as possible? I'm going to leave that up to Coach Hoke. Uh, I don't know what his plans are, what he wants to do, but if he has a game for us, we'll be ready. Hey, Darren. Um, on Wilson, uh, one of the comparisons that's come up, I don't know if you've heard this, uh, but curious your response is Patrick Mahomes. No, not necessarily in terms of quality of play, but stylistically how he plays. Have you seen any of that on film? Um, I think that Zach Wilson's a very talented quarterback. I think that he has a very strong arm. He's agile. He's 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 mobile. Um I would compare him more to like a, a Aaron, a Aaron Rodgers, I would say, personally. Just the, the arm strength he has, the way he, he moves in the pocket, he has some savvy. But we're just going to go out there and try to do what we can do to stop him and his team this weekend. And what does a game like this at this stage and what's been such a weird season mean to you guys, given the history with BYU, given the type of year that they've had and just kind of the uncertainty about what's next for you guys um, what does it mean to have this opportunity ahead of you this weekend? Yeah, it's just a great opportunity, just knowing that a lot of teams' games been canceled and we've been blessed to have played all uh, eight scheduled games, even though we had to find a game a couple weeks ago. Um, just knowing that also it's BYU, we have a, a, a rivalry with them, even though we haven't played them 
as much uh, as of late. But it's just a big game for us. Just go out there and prove that we are still the uh, San Diego Aztecs and that we're a great team. Hey, Jordan, what was your reaction when you heard this game was scheduled to be played in Provo, Utah on December 12th when the temperature will be probably around 30 degrees at kickoff? It was good. You know, I, I missed the cold. I'm from New Mexico, so it's always snowing there. So it's going to be a really good game in the cold. Um, I used to run track there all the time in, in BYU, so it's going to be, really be a really good game to, to go out there and, and play again. Will cold weather have any impact on the game at all? Uh, just a little bit, you know. A lot of guys on the sideline would be kind of cold, but other than that, it's gonna it's gonna be really good. Especially the feeling of coldness again. I I miss that. And then uh, your teammate just said that called it a rivalry between BYU and San Diego State. Although you guys haven't played or just once in the last ten years, why is that? Why do you guys call it a rivalry? Uh, I just heard that um, we used to be in the conference together, so it's probably a really good rival from there. And I know they broke off, I think, around 2011. Uh, so it's going to be really good. You know, some of the fans still still have that, that kind of connection. But it's going to, from last year, uh, we respect them. So it's going to be it's going to be a really good game. Jordan, you mentioned you, you've you uh, been to BYU before. Do you mean uh, running track? Can you talk a little more about that? Was that specifically at BYU or in Utah? Or what, what was going on there? Uh, it was at BYU. Um, I used to run for... Um, team called Big Red, so we used to always go traveling around the nation, and I used to run the blue track. It was it was a beautiful track, so I, I used to love it. What do you remember most about that campus and that city? Uh, just the mountains, and be, it was beautiful to me. It was it was a really nice nice state to, to be, especially to run track in, you know. It's my, this will be my first time playing football there, but it's going to be really nice. When you were running track, was that more of a spring where it was warmer, or was it actually out in the cold back when you were there too? Uh, it was more. It was a little bit warm, but it was still cold there. You know, you could feel the that breeze coming from the mountains. So it was it was really good though. There's still snow on the mountains, so it was cool. What's the coldest football conditions you played in? I've actually played in the snow, you know, up to my ankles. So it was it was bad. I was a I was a quarterback at the time, so it was. It was a little rough, but it was it was cool. But it was a fun experience to have. So was that snowing during a high school game? Uh, yes, sir. It was it was during a high school game. Is it um, is that mostly mental, or what's the biggest challenge in playing in conditions like that? Just to have fun, you know. It we practiced in it all week, and it was it was really cool to to go on the field and and play. A lot of the kids have fun with it. I think. Uh, San Diego will have fun in the snow. You know, a lot of kids from California haven't really seen snow, so it's really cool for them to, to see that. Would you make a snow angel in the end zone at the end? I probably won't. I'm, I'm too shy for all that. <laughs> Congratulations on the award this week. Um, I think uh, you had a 74-yard average on the kick return since you returned this past week, uh, which is obviously incredible. Um, but I just wanted to see if you could give us a few thoughts. Um, you know, you had some struggles early in the year, and um, you were able to put those behind you and then perform like you did this past week. And I just, your thought process, your feelings on being able to break that big run, um, et cetera. Uh, I, I give credit to my coaches and my team. You know, they they knew I, I messed up a couple times, and they and they still had confidence in me. And they gave me the chance to, to go out there and give my all and, and I did that, and they gave me they gave me more confidence this week to to do it again, and I feel better about that. My coaches have been there and supportive for me, and been practicing every week and and playing hard. Um, I noticed um, when on uh, BJ Bugsby's uh, return that the first person who met him in the end zone was you. <laughs> um, were, were you more excited about yours or his? I was more excited about his. You know, it's it's been a while since we had a punt return, and it was it was good to see him. To, to score and first thing I did was his little celebrations at the wide receivers do so it was it was really excited to to see them do that. And what is that celebration? It's the arm, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It's right here. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, back ends. That's what that's what they do. So that's that's their little the little motive thing that they do. Great, that's great. Um, last one for me, uh, Jordan uh, Brookshire. He uh, you know he had a little game you play. What what is your confidence level with your QB and? Um, you know, what, what are you expecting out of this? Oh, yeah, I'm, he came in confident. You know, a lot of a lot of quarterbacks come in nervous and don't have the chance to, to get their feet wet. And he got his feet wet, and, it, and he showed, and he showed what he could do. 
Um, the offense have, has con confidence in them, and I know defense has confidence in them too. The coaches gave him a chance, and he and he took that that chance, and it and it showed. So he's he's a really good guy, and and I'm glad he's a starting quarterback. Hey Jordan, just curious what a game like this means to you guys at this stage, and what's been such kind of a strange season. You, you get a chance to play all eight. You're playing um, a team that's had a really good season, been ranked, some history between the programs. The uncertainty about like what comes after this for you guys. Um, what does a game like this mean? It means a lot to us. You know, we're we're lucky to get a chance to play all eight games. So it's really it's really nice. You know, we had some ups and downs against uh, Fresno. We didn't get to play them, so we played Colorado. So it's it's going to be a really good game against BYU. You know, it's gonna it's the last game. So you know, we got to give it our all, especially for the seniors.